guys, welcome to Empower, and thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel, and welcome to Motivation Monday. So, this video is going over how to have patience with everyone. Now, the work environment can be incredibly, incredibly stressful. We have patients that can be incredibly needy or very sick. We have coworkers that can be extremely difficult to work with, whether that's your nursing director, a nursing assistant, or a fellow nurse. We can have administration walking around, you know, nitpicking at little things. So let me just be the first to admit that it can be extremely difficult to have patience with everyone. So here's how I do it. Um, and sometimes, like I said, it is harder than others. But one thing that I have learned in the hospital is that whenever something happens, like a situation happens, people always blow things way out of proportion. Like it used to make me so nervous because like I would go home and you know, I would think like I would leave work, everything's fine. And then I would come back the next day and people would be like, ah, like this happened. And I'm like, oh my gosh, ah, it happened, you know? Like, so I would think like all of these things are like a really, really, really big deal. And then the next day, nobody talked about it. And the day after that, nobody ever talked about it. And then the day, like, everyone forgot about it, you know? So, like, these, these things that come to us seeming like a, like a huge, huge, huge thing, or we're like, ah, we're going to get fired, and, like, this is going to happen, and that's going to happen. And then it's never mentioned ever again, <laughs> like, for the rest of your entire life. So that's one thing that has literally given me patience, like, a lot of patience, because I know for sure that things in the moment can seem like extremely big and like a huge deal but actually if you just handle it as best as you can and then don't mention it again then it probably will get forgotten in some way or the other because there's just too much other stuff going on. <laughs> as long as it's not something like incredibly bad, you know, it will probably just go away. I mean, for example, like everything can seem like a big deal. Anything from like a, a small patient complaint to writing your information on the board in the wrong color to an administrator finding you outside with a pair of gloves on, even though you hadn't even gone into the room. So like I said, like everything can seem like a big deal. Um, that's one thing that I tell myself if somebody comes to me with like this huge, huge problem that's like, oh my God. And I'm like, you know, I just tell myself like, okay, like what, what can we do? And let's handle it. And <laughs> that's it. Let's move on. <laughs> The other thing that I do, and maybe this is just my personality, which kind of helps, um, it's kind of funny because like if there's like a really stressful situation, like let's say like my patient is declining like rapidly and I call a rapid response or if there's a code blue, one thing that people always say to me is that you're so calm. How do you stay so calm? And I don't know what happens to me. Like I guess it's just my personality, but like some people when like anger comes at them or something like that, they like they they get energy and they fight back. But me, like maybe it's just my personality again, I start thinking, you know? And and then because I'm thinking, I get quiet. And because I'm quiet, people think I'm just calm. And this happens with any kind of stressful, stressful experience. Like let's say a patient's yelling at me, so what I'm thinking while they're yelling at me is what could possibly make them so angry to yell? Because I know it's not this one thing. Like, yes, I'm five minutes late with their pain medication, but it's not this one situation that has caused them to this point. So what I'm thinking in my head is, okay, probably they had an argument with the doctor. The doctor is not giving them exactly what they want because they're not getting exactly what they want. They're upset that I'm even late with what they don't want. So I'm processing all of this in my head while they're yelling at me, which kind of helps me not get upset because I'm like, okay, sorry, next time I'll be on time. <laughs> Okay, so another thing that I have learned is in order to be patient with yourself, you have to be patient with other people. You know, what goes around comes around. So the more patient that I am with myself, the more like forgiving, loving, and understanding that I am with myself, that also translates to my patients or anyone that's entrusted to my care. So I always try to be loving, gentle, and kind to myself, and I try to be loving, kind, and gentle with everybody else, regardless of how they treated me in the past. I try to approach everyone every day without the past. If I'm talking to you and we're having a conversation, I don't want to be thinking about how in the past you were like this or in the past like that. I want to focus on you. I want to know who you really are. And the only way I can know who you really are is if I let go of my past perceptions of who you are. So that's how I'm just like really patient with everybody. So another thing that this is the last, this is the last tip. <laughs> the other thing that I want you guys to think about is there's a concept in neuro-linguistic programming, which is 
I don't know like a, a ton about it, but it's a way that you can make changes in your life that you might not have wanted to or might not have been able to make. The fundamental belief in neurolinguistic programming is that everyone does the best they can with the resources that they have available. So understanding that it really helps you forgive everyone for anything that they've ever done. Because if you think about it, everyone's taking actions based on their past experiences, which we all come from different backgrounds and experiences. So we all behave differently. But if you fundamentally understand Understand that no matter what you're seeing on the outside, that that person is responding the best they can with all the available resources that they have. So just love everybody a lot more and you'll be a lot more forgiving of everybody and yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much again for joining me for Motivation Monday. I can't wait to see you again next Monday. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.